this video, I'll be going over how to differentiate a tree squirrel skull from a ground squirrel skull. Now, when I say tree squirrels, that includes the um, gray squirrel, red squirrel, fox squirrel, and may or may not include the flying squirrel depending on how you define it. Ground squirrels here, the characteristics I'm going to go over apply to all ground squirrels like 13 line ground squirrels, Columbia ground squirrel, etc., and chipmunks, and prairie dogs, and marmots. So, first thing, tree squirrels have a bit of a more rounded skull on the back versus a flatter for a ground squirrel. So, if I hold up a tree squirrel in my left hand, a ground squirrel in my right hand, you can see this, the back of the skull, is a little rounder than the other. But that's a little subjective. We have other things that we can look at. So next, the zygomatic plate is steeper for tree squirrels than for ground squirrels. Now if you look at these two top down, what you can see in this one is basically you can see more of that plate kind of sticking out underneath than this one where you see less from this top down view. And that is because the plate is steeper here than it is here. The last thing, and this is the thing that might be most useful, are the zygomatic arches are parallel in tree squirrels and angled in ground squirrels. So again, holding up these two skulls, similar size, but you can see here these relatively parallel lines versus this is angling towards the nose. So let me hold up a few other examples here. On this one, let's look at the side. Hmm. So this one is supposed to be rounder. That's what your book says, at least. Looking top down, you can see less stuff than here. And the angles are very clearly here, kind of triangular shaped and here, parallel. The one thing that confuses all of this is our flying squirrel, which has a steep zygomatic arch, but is the only tree squirrel that has the angled arches. So if you're looking for kind of angled arches, know that that is ground squirrels plus the flying squirrel, and the non-flying tree squirrels have the parallel zygomatic arches.